Hey everybody, in this reading we'll be looking at things uh, that didn't come through in my other readings for whatever reason. Um, and these things could be about love, work, friendship, trips, whatever comes up. I'll do a couple of spreads and maybe um, additional clarification or outcome spreads if necessary. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's the first uh, lost message, uh, Gemini. We have uh, the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Six of Cups. We have uh, the Page of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Wands. Uh, we also have the High Priestess and uh, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, maybe a Sagittarius. Um, so you, you will be hearing from this Queen of Cups. This is somebody from your past. All right? And... Um, from what I see here is that if I were you, I would listen to what they have to say, maybe even meet up with them, catch up with them, and then um, act accordingly based on your own intuition. <laughs> or perhaps they want to plan something together with you. All right. Uh, from at this point, it's a bit mysterious, right? Because the last card that came out right next to the deck is uh, the High Priestess. I did not want to clarify the High Priestess. <laughs> I barely ever clarified. All right. So the High Priestess could be a card of intuition or a secret. Perhaps this Queen of Cups has a secret to share with you, or perhaps they want to prepare. They want to throw like a surprise a Capricorn birthday party and uh, just keep it a secret for an hour. Something along those lines. Or perhaps this person wants to start a business with you, but they'll be like, you know what, don't tell anybody about this idea because other people may steal this idea or something like that. I don't see any card suggesting you shouldn't be uh, interacting with this person. All right? I don't see anything. Quite the opposite. I see uh, a lot of communication, right? The page of ones, clarified by the eight of ones, definitely communication. Back and forth communication with the eight of ones for some of you. The eight of ones could also be a card of travel. Perhaps this person is going to be in your neighborhood or they're going to be in town and uh, they want to meet up. Right, um, the uh, Queen of Cups, the first card that came out, that's the person. Uh, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. They're clarified by the Six of Cups, which is a soulmate card, but it's also a card of somebody from the past. All right, it could be anybody. <laughs> it could be a friend, an ex love interest, um, somebody from your family you haven't seen in a long time, something along those lines, right? The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck could be another travel card, just like the, the, just like the Eight of Wands. And the, the Wheel of Fortune is also a card of starting a new cycle, right? So there's going to be either someone's birthday, Capricorn's birthday, and it's their, their cycle starting, their new year starting, or after what they tell you, they may offer to start something or restart something. Perhaps you've been out of touch with this person and this person wants to like uh, start communicating more with you or something like that. So yeah, um, Gemini, go ahead, talk uh, talk to them and, and then uh, take it from there. All right, cool. And uh, we're moving on to another situation because I don't think we need any clarification for this, for this situation. Let's move on and see what uh, what the other lost message is real quick. Here's another uh, lost message for you, Gemini. We have uh, the Three of Cups, clarified by the Devil. And we have uh, the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Sun. We, have, we also have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Emperor. And uh, we have the Page of uh, Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Leo, Aries, or any Zodiac sign. Um, what's interesting about this reading is that the first three cards that came out were all minor arcana cards. Their clarifiers are major <laughs> arcana cards, all right? I just felt like uh, pointing that out. So something that's going to look not that grand on the surface, it will turn out to be something big for some of you. But uh, what I can tell you right away, it has something to do with a Capricorn's birthday party. All right. If you're invited to a Capricorn's birthday party, I suggest you go. <laughs> All right. And uh, this is where you're going to be meeting uh, maybe your future spouse. Who knows? And it could be the birthday girl or the birthday boy who is your future spouse. Or it could be someone else who will also be attending. It could be the person inviting you to that uh, Capricorn birthday party. Perhaps you're a plus one. <laughs> or you could be meeting someone at the party. But definitely... Uh, Everything starts at the Capricorn's birthday party, for sure, 100%. All right, because in the beginning we have the Three of Cups clarified by the devil, and uh, that combo is not very um, positive, I guess, unless 
you remember that we are in the middle of a Capricorn birthday season and then it becomes something good, <laughs> right? Because the, the devil is a Capricorn major arcana card, the three of cups is a card of a celebration. So it must be a Capricorn's birthday party. The page of cups on the bottom of the deck is either an invitation to that birthday party or if you're already going, someone will um, approach you, start giving you compliments, being, they're going to be super nice to you, they may even invite you to go somewhere after that birthday party, not necessarily the same day, maybe the next day or a couple of days later or something like that. Right, in the middle we have uh, the Ace of Cups clarified by the Sun. So yeah, it could be love at first sight, it could be with that Ace of Cups, because the Ace of Cups is all about genuine, true, authentic love. The Sun clarifying it could be a Leo, you're dealing with, but the, the sun is a card of clarity, and uh, it's the happiest card in the deck. <laughs> All right, it's the happiest card in the deck. And then we have the Six of Swords clarified by the Emperor. The Six of Swords is a card of moving forward, or literally going somewhere, or both. All right, and uh, it's clarified by the Emperor. It could be an Aries you're dealing with, but uh, the Emperor is um, of, the Emperor often is a card of a future spouse or a future uh, significant other finger. You know, the Emperor does not fool around. The em you can always rely on the Emperor. You can always... The Emperor will always be there for you. Or it's simply either an Aries you're dealing with or your future spouse, potential future spouse at this point. Right? Also a major Arcana card. Um, yeah, I, I like this a lot for you, uh, Gemini. So, yeah, I do want to take a look at the uh, potential. Uh, between you and this person real quick. So here's the potential between you and uh, the person we saw in the previous spread uh, moving forward, right? Uh, we have uh, the Page of Pentacles clarified by the Nine of Cups, we have the Two of Cups clarified by the Magician, uh, we also have uh, the Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Carpent, and we have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo, maybe another Gemini. <laughs> we also have Sagittarius, Taurus, Aquarius, or you could still be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. Um, speaking of minor arcana cards and major arcana cards, you see how the first three cards we have uh, in the beginning on the left, they're minor arcana cards, right? And then we tr and then we transition to the major arcana cards. <laughs> And uh, the card on the bottom of the deck is also a major arcana card. Alright, so again, in the beginning, perhaps you may not consider this person or you may not think of this person like, like a serious candidate, but uh, they are. They are. Alright? They are a serious candidate. As a matter of fact, the, the Hierophant clarifying the Will of Fortune could be a Taurus, you know, but the Hierophant is a card of commitment and marriage. It is a clarifier, but uh, you guys can definitely take it there. The Wheel of Fortune is taking it to the next level, right? Starting a cycle, um, and uh, it's a very fortunate cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. But we start with the, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Cups. So this is either a repeat of what we saw in the first spread, an invitation to a birthday party, or, like I said, perhaps uh, after the two of you get acquainted, or when you go to that party, uh, it could be an invitation to another event after that. Again, not necessarily the same day. All right, And perhaps if you decide to go with this person, this is when the rest of the sp spread will start playing out. Because uh, in the middle we have the Two of Cups, the minor arcana card, clarified by the first major <laughs> arcana card. But this is where the transition starts. This is where things get interesting, this is when things get very loving and very serious at the same time. The Two of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card of when two people are on the same page, feel the same way towards one another. The Magician clarifying that is one of your major arcana cards, Gemini, right? You share it with Virgo. But at the same time, the Magician is a card of manifestation and uh, it's a card of taking action. So this is when things will start unfolding, they will start developing, they will start uh, unrolling, if you wish, <laughs> if you will. Right on the bottom of the deck, we have the star. Could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but the star is a card of a wish come true. Right, something people usually wish for, hope for, for a very long time. The nine of cups all the way to your left could also be interpreted as a wish come true. So perhaps both of you are each other's wish come true. You know that happens too. Perhaps you don't know it yet. <laughs> but with the Two of Cups, this is when people get uh, on the same page. Perhaps you will discover you have a lot in common. You have uh, like similar goals, similar 
uh, story of your life or something like that. So it is, it's going to go through a transition. But as <coughs> as we saw in the previous part with that Ace of Cups, yeah, there's going to be definitely love on at least one person's side right away. Right, and perhaps the other person will then catch up, <laughs> so to speak. All right, so yeah, looks very, very promising, very promising, Gemini. All right, so um, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Gemini, have an amazing January.